After the first part, we have to start with importing a 3D model, which I have downloaded from a website called Sketchfab, which is a free model, you can download it from there. The downloading link is in the description. I just replaced the default texture into Redshift. And in my tracking scene, I just changed my render setting into Redshift. Now select the ship model and copy it. And then paste it into my tracked scene. Now for the better organization of the material, I just create a layer to store different materials at different sections. It's good when you have lots of material in your scene. Now we can see that the size of ship is very small. So we have to increase its size and fix its position. After fixing the position and the scale, I've done some forward ship animation to the scene. It's just the basic keyframing. Now for the lighting purpose, I just created a red shift dome light to properly lit our scene in HDRI. In dome light, go to general tab and load up our HDRI. For free and high quality HDRIs, you can check out a website called HDRI Heavens. They have one of the best HDRIs on the market. and it's totally free so you can download up to 16k resolution of HDRIs in free of cost. For this scene I found one good HDRI. Now after loading up to your scene then click the render button over here on the IPR view. Now you can see our HDRI is loaded in opposite direction. To fix that we have to rotate our dome light in opposite direction in about 180 degrees. You can see my HDRI lighting is quite similar to my video's environment, so it solves most of the compositing work. You see the backplate option, which is similar to the background object that we did in earlier, but for this time it's for Redshift Renderer. Here we also locate our image sequence. And make sure you go to the animate section, select the loop. And the most important, calculate the frames. Now you can see our viewport and the renderer are on the same page. You can tweak some HDRI intensity and all, it's up to you. Try different HDRI scene to match your scene perfectly. I tried bunch of them but uh, I ended with the first one. Time for properly scaling our ship in Cinema 4D. For that I choose the reference object as a human figure which you can found in object section in Cinema 4D. Its size and proportion is like real human being. That's why it's good for reference. Now we compare the ship and the figure and increase the ship size relative to the figure. After fixing the position and the scale, you can go for the render setting. I maintain the render quality by setting up passes. It's a good quality for a demo project. The system is not that good so I keep it low. Before go to the final render, I just hide all the background scenes because it's only for the reference. Normally in 3D renders you have multiple passes, but in this scene I'm not doing it because my system can't handle it. In output section, change the current frame to all frames and check your resolution and frame rate. That's why I just render the single beauty pass in PNG format. 
Make sure your alpha channel is checked in the option and your location to save it. After setting up all, hit the render button and wait for the render finished. Now that's for it guys, now our 3D work is done. Get ready for the third and last part. On that part we cover the compositing section, which is the most interesting part. If you like this video then definitely subscribe it for the third part and comment down below what you want to learn next. For now, stay safe, be healthy and be awesome.